Hey, hey, I'm, I'm here. And today I just want to like talk about something that I've seen people talk about a little bit. People been complaining because, you know, I, that, that's what people do best. So as probably all of you know, Deadpool and Wolverine came out pretty recently. I think it's been like a month now. It's creeping up there. I've seen it twice. I think it's a, a fantastic movie. I think it's so much fun. Oh my God. Before we get into that topic, I, a, a tangent. So I went to see it again a few days ago with uh, with my good pal Applecaster from YouTube channel Applecaster. And you know, you can call me old fashioned. You can you can call me a boomer. But an entire family walked in, and and this isn't like a like a family of four. You know, with like you know a mom and a dad and like you know. Like, like two, you know, grown uh, enough children. It was like, there was like a six year old in front of me. It made it really not easy to enjoy the movie, right? Like, I'm just getting secondhand embarrassment from, from the fucking parents. As on screen, Ryan Reynolds is talking about smash, like, smash, 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 Hulk, Hulk smash debating, whatever the fuck. I forgot it's smash debating, whatever the fuck. And it's just, it's, it, it was uncomfortable. I couldn't, I couldn't enjoy it. And and maybe some of you are saying like, well, why the, f it's not none of your fucking business. And you're right. Yeah, it's it's none of my business what what another family goes and sees. But I I can't help it. I can't help but just look down on such irresponsible parenting. Like I, it's so weird saying this as someone who is so recently an adult. But you can't fucking take a child to go see an R-rated movie. It's not how this works. It's it's rated R for a reason. Boom, right there. R for a reason. Okay, and the reason is gratuitous violence, a whole heck of a lot of swearing, and just honestly quality that children don't deserve. You know, it's just like, sure, I, I didn't fully appreciate all the stuff in the movie, like on my first watch, but a fucking kid is not gonna appreciate any part of the movie. There's no enjoyment to be fucking had from a six-year-old watching this fucking movie. I cannot believe the, the like, like, I, I just, I could... Like I'm imagining myself in in this like in this dad's shoes, right? I'm 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 going to the theater. I'm seeing fucking Deadpool and Friend. You know, this is like 25 years in the future. They finally have the balls to name movie Deadpool and Friend. And I and I, I bring six-year-old Timothy with me. I, I couldn't I could not feel comfortable the whole. I couldn't I, I couldn't laugh. I couldn't I, I couldn't enjoy myself. I I would just sit there just uncomfortable and, and, and any good parent should be uncomfortable bringing their child to see deadpool and wolverine but anyways this that was a massive tangent i'm i'm already four minutes into this almost or, or approaching five i'll cut this shit and i'll talk about what i really wanted to talk about so deadpool and wolverine is a very good movie um but it has a lot of people bitching and moaning about cgi it's made me think i i've ultimately come to this conclusion before i elaborate further i'll, I'll just here's my hypothesis it does not matter if there's CGI in a movie if it's good. It doesn't fucking matter at all. I think practical stuff is great and is better, but I think that the perfect medium is blending the two of them together, you know? You have as much, you know, practical stuff as you can and then using, you know, VFX to touch up things that you want to be better, you know, to, to use the computer to do things that you literally can't do in real life that's what it should be for i understand the uh complaint for sure you know i i don't like bad C well i love bad cgi but i don't like it in marvel movies right marvel movies have been this this sensory overload of shitty cgi everyone loves to shift the blame off of the vfx artists and i'm gonna do the same thing because it's genuinely fucking inhumane what they have to deal with it's it's absolutely ridiculous in all bad cgi there's potential for good with every bad, underbaked, shitty, marveled CGI scene, with just a little bit more time, I guarantee you that shit could look mm, beautiful. The bones are there for great, great work that you just literally cannot do in real life. And CGI does look good in Marvel movies sometimes. It looks good in like 
really any movie that that does that does VFX well. Uh, also, I don't know if CGI and VFX are the same thing. I'm gonna use them interchangeably. Uh, any any dweebs don't don't fact correct me. I don't care that much. Okay, so the main complaint about Deadpool and Wolverine that I've seen, we're tying this back around now. I've been aimlessly talking uh, to tie this back around. People have been complaining about Hugh Jackman's Wolverine having like uh, CGI arms and I guess people got their, their panties in a twist over the eyes of the mask uh, potentially being CGI. They're not, but like it's so it's so dumb, right? Because why can't Wolverine have you know, a, a CGI mask, it, at least slightly, you know, a, a, a mask enhanced by CGI, right? That's exactly what Deadpool's mask is, and no one fucking complains about that, or at least no one with a brain, because it's obviously the right choice. You can make a, a Wolverine cowl work, but what I'm imagining the CGI stuff was, was like, you know, doing the eyes and stuff, and that, to me, is... There's zero problems with that. I, I don't get it. As long as it looks good, I don't get why people have a- and, and it does look good. The CGI in this movie is noticeable. For example, the opening scene, it's it's noticeably not real, but God, it still looks good. Like, it's still, it's still fun, it's just great. And then, uh, another big thing that I saw people talking about was, uh, in some shots, I guess, Hugh Jackman's arms are, like, CGI'd in. And, oh, that, that's, that's, that's a an, an whole nother thing with the, in, with the CGI enhancements, okay? That's, that, I'll, I'll save that for a second. I guess there are some shots in the movie where, uh, Hugh Jackman's arms are CGI'd in to be his, you know, bare arms. You t I don't really know why they would they would do that. I didn't notice it at all until it was pointed out to me by by some fucking snot-nosed Reddit loser or some shit. But like I didn't notice it. It's it's not that big of a deal. Everyone pretends like all CGI is like fucking Looney Tunes back in action or Green Lantern or fucking Red Boy Genius, you know, it's just, it, it, and that's not the case. I'm so tired of this stigma against CGI. I, I think it's definitely like, a, it's a slippery slope. There can be way too much, but I think CGI can be used very smartly, and I think it should be used more more smarterly. Lately, Marvel movies have been oh, like over-relying on the blue screen, and it really shows. So I get where the criticism comes from. Oh. I, another thing, the uh, the the intro uh, dance sequence uh, was was in front of a blue screen. I couldn't fucking tell, and I guarantee you couldn't either. I, I don't think it detracts from the experience at all. It's just so ridiculous that that people complain about CGI, even if, even when it's good, even when it's not eye searingly fucking terrible. Now, one thing that people are claiming is is CGI. Spoilers ahead. So people are talking about the scene in the nether reactor core where Hugh Jackman's shirt bursts off in, in, in all of its glory. And he looks like a fucking god in there. <sighs> God, is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Words can't describe his physique. Uh, he looks absolutely immaculate. And, and he looks so good that people are claiming that his beautiful body is touched up and worked on by CGI. And, and that's just bullshit. That's, that's not true. That beautiful all Australian muscle is 100% real. There is a little bit of VFX work to enhance his, uh, his muscles with the, uh, like, like the energy, the light shit inside of him. Obviously, there's not actual light refracting inside of him, so that that is clearly touched up. But that's as far as it goes. It's just beautifully placed lighting to enhance the muscle that's already there, and oh my god. I hope the poor bastard that worked on that finished that, you know, he, he packed up his stuff, he left the office for the night, and he got his dick sucked when he got home. I need to end this, because I'm starting to get some thoughts. So, yeah, that's my opinion on CGI in movies. I, I, I think it's a, it's a dangerous road to go down, uh, but it's one that can be done well, and it is, it has been done well, but it's also been done worse a lot more. So I, it's, it's kind of like nuclear energy, right? It's, actually no, it's, it's not at all, never mind. Just completely disregard what I said there. It's like MSG, right? It's it's a perfect thing to just, you know, give a dish that flavor that, you know, 
Traditional seasonings can't, you know, and while some people think it's evil and dangerous, it's really not. As long as, you know, you aren't allergic to it or a pussy, it's it's just a grand old time. So yeah, that's really all I had to say. Uh, check out my podcast in the description below, and uh, yeah, see ya. Bye.